Here I'm doing my artist analysis and visual notes on Leonard da Vinci. So I'm going to stick uh, the picture of my reference work on here and write three words about it. So I've got precise, accurate and scientific on there. Then I'm going to use this grid to practice tonal bars. I'm going to start with a dark tone, uh, pressing quite hard on my pencil. And you can see I'm layering the pen on here. Um, one way and then the other uh, to make sure the color uh, is as smooth as possible there's no gaps in it on there at all so second one and then here I'm just doing this one a little bit darker to show that gradual transition on there and smoothing it out and the second one I'm going to do a gradient that means I want a smooth transition from one end to the other so I'm starting with a light gray and then I'm just going to blend this in and layer it in uh, slowly so I'm changing the direction of my pencil stroke to make sure we've got a really smooth transition throughout and layering it slowly so it goes from hard pressure and goes lighter and lighter. Uh, once we've got that done, I'm going to stick it in, put tone, pencil pressure and gradient on there. Then I'm writing four facts about Leonardo da Vinci, that he was a scientist as well as an artist and that he loved studying the human body. Um, his drawings are really accurate. And he painted the Mona Lisa, which is a really, really famous painting on there. And the last one that was from Italy on there too. Uh, I'm just going to glue uh, that little piece of paper here next to it uh, to get my research on there as well. Uh, once I've done that, I'm just going to focus on copying some really small areas of the drawing. Him looking at the teeth and how he's kind of colored it in and showed the tones on there. And I'm just studying that little area on there. I'm trying to get some of the dots as well. It's got to show texture on there. And as you can see, I'm struggling to do the hatching in the same direction as it is, uh, as it was left-handed and I'm right-handed on there. So I eventually give up and decide to do it on the right. And I showed some examples of what the pen line looks like when you press harder and lighter. So on here, I'm just also gluing uh, some of the exercises we're going to do later on to show my finished page on there.